Tulsa, Oklahoma, my beautiful home. Tulsa, Oklahoma, with its oil strikes at Red Fork in 1901 and Glenpool in 1905, became known as the oil capital of the world. With its newfound wealth in the early 20th century, Tulsa began to build beautiful buildings in the modern Art Deco style. Art Deco is a visual arts design style that flourished during the 1920s, 30s, and 40s. Art Deco emphasizes geometric forms arranged in symmetrical patterns. They are often vivid and high contrast colors. In its prime, it represented all things modern, luxurious, and glamorous. Boston Avenue Methodist Church was completed in 1929. It is known as one of the finest examples of Art Deco in the United States. Like many Art Deco buildings, it uses building materials like sew metal, glass, terracotta, Indiana limestone, and Minnesota granite. Another beautiful example of Art Deco in downtown Tulsa is the Phil Tower building. It was completed in 1928 and has since been a Tulsa landmark. The Mid-Continent Tower is perhaps one of Tulsa's most notable buildings in its skyline. In 1918, it started out as the Codson Building. It was remodeled in the 1980s to include 20 more stories. The restoration stayed true to its original form of an Art Deco-inspired design. The white terracotta is a common deco attribute. The Expo Square Pavilion was built in 1932 and sits on the fairgrounds. It is the former site of the International Petroleum Exposition, or the IPE. It was an event that brought people from all over the world to Tulsa for many years. This beautiful and fine example of Art Deco is built with blonde brick and detailed terracotta ornamentation. There are numerous examples of Art Deco design throughout Tulsa. I have highlighted a few notable ones. I love Tulsa for many reasons. Whenever I gaze upon our beautiful Art Deco inspired buildings, I am reminded of the wealth brought here by the oil boom in the early 20th century. Without oil, we wouldn't have the aesthetic wonder that is the Tulsa skyline today. Flood!